Hi, good morning. It's a little bit of an early morning for me, although it's 10 o'clock because I was in really late last night, so I had to sleep in. <clears throat> but on the spur of the moment yesterday, I decided to create this 10 day challenge for shifting our minds. And um, uh, I don't think there's anybody here yet, but this video is going to be out anyway. So I'm going to uh, pursue it. But first, I'd like to just say a few words about why I'm doing this. And it's partly because I've been through um, this myself, of course. I've worked um, at shifting my own mind about things a lot. And I can, uh, I know the effect it has. I can feel the effect it has. But also, it's been proven that uh, the way you think about things, the way you perceive things... Hello, Per. <laughs> the way you perceive things, I'm talking about, hello, Alan, nice to see you, talking about shifting the mindset. And uh, the way you perceive things has a lot to do about the way um, that your life evolves. Now, um, why can I say that? Let's take an, a simple example about um, relations with people. Now, if you're angry with someone, that um, that anger is going to be in you, right? And your thoughts are going to be infected by this anger. And this person might have done something, or it might just be this person's, I don't know, annoying you for some reason, an old story or something. And every thought about that person will be filled with anger. And when you're filled with anger, you will react through that emotion with anybody around you as well, and everything in your life will be perceived with that a hue of the anger. Now, if you think of somebody else that you feel compassionate about, or that you smile when you think about, somebody you care for, what does that do? Well, you act with compassion to that person, but you also start acting differently to people that come your way, and you they most likely get a smile from you, more likely than when you're angry. So your thoughts actually create re your reality for yourself, your inner emotions, but also for your surroundings. So now my 10 day challenge here uh, is to touch upon some different moments of everybody's everyday life or even larger aspects of your lives and ask you to realize and to recognize what your thoughts are about or in those moments and to give you some ideas of how you easily can shift it so that you experience life a little bit lighter, a little bit better and you will interact with other people maybe eventually at least um, a little bit easier and lighter and uh, you'll find that you will learn to shift even in the most frustrating moments so that you can handle or tackle things uh, in a better way. Now, I was going to talk today in this first day of this challenge about your first thought in the morning, but then I realized, because I was quite tired when I went to bed yesterday, and I woke up this morning and I realized my thoughts were actually affected by the way I went to bed yesterday. And of course, I realized this so I could shift it, but it's, it's quite interesting to see what, when you go to bed, in the night, your last thought, what does that do to you, to your sleep, to your morning thoughts? So my challenge to you today is when you go to bed tonight, notice what your thoughts are. Maybe you're in a good place. It's not a problem really, but you can still notice. It's important to notice where you are and acknowledge it. And if you're in a frustrated place, if you've had a, an exhausting day, conflict, whatever it is, what are your thoughts as you go to bed? Are they filled with these emotions? Just notice it, acknowledge it, because it's, maybe it's been a strenuous day. Maybe it's, you're justified in having these emotions. It's not that, we're not trying to eradicate your reactions, your emotions. We're just trying to create the shift, the experience and the muscle of being able to shift your thoughts so that you can have a better experience in your day. Uh, and let's start with a sleep. So what you do tonight, if you follow my challenge, take a piece of paper and a pen. And, you know, science has proven that using the, the written word with your hand affects your mind much more powerfully than when you do it digi digitally on your phone. And I don't have my phone by my bed anyway. But <clears throat> if you 
take a piece of paper and a pen and write down either one person, one situation, one object, one experience, a colour, a taste, a smell, something that you like, something that you appreciate in your life or someone, an animal, nature, anything. It doesn't matter. You choose. It can be small, it can be large. It doesn't matter. One thing that you put down in writing, either just a word or a sentence, and give that one object or person or situation or phenomenon your full focus for a few seconds just focus on it and appreciate that one thing in that moment send a thought of appreciation and gratitude to that person or that animal or that object or that phenomenon and that's it that's the last thing you do before you switch off the light so whether you do you can rage before that, you can read a book, whatever. When you put it away, the book or the, the rage, or you're about to switch the light off, take that piece of paper, write it down, give it a few moments of focus, send this beautiful thought of appreciation, and then let it go, switch off the light and go to bed. And I'll come back to you tomorrow. Um, if you're interested, if you want to, you can write down your experience about this tomorrow, but we'll talk probably before you have time to do that and um, I'll do the same and I'll share my experience and tomorrow we have a new topic a new situation in which we can practice shifting um, that thought in the moment so last thought tonight what is it okay that was it for today see you tomorrow good luck and I'm glad to see you all here and have a beautiful day <laughs> bye bye